Hey everyone, my name is Tommy Lumberg and I'm a photographer and creative director based out of Los Angeles, California. I love telling stories through portrait photography, but when it comes to love, it can be tricky to tell a story that feels original and unexpected. That's why I've got the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and I'm going to put a twist in a familiar scene. We all know the feeling of being on a movie date, it's close, it's intimate, it's romantic, but I want to take that feeling and bring it out to the desert. So I have my friends Patrick and Elle, and I'm going to show you some of my process and how I get great portrait photography. So check it out. When you're photographing scenes of love, you want it to feel as authentic as possible. The quick shot feature on the Z Flip 4 is really handy for this. You can easily snag those candid, genuine moments without even having to open your phone. There's no risk of interrupting or killing the vibe. It's a really handy tool. To bring some energy to portraits, I also love making gifts. For this one, we got our models comfortable on a couch, then put popcorn on skewers to create the illusion that it's jumping out of the bowl. After that, I moved my camera around and took burst photos to create enough frames for an animation. We also got one of Gus, which was a really fun challenge. One way to freshen up portraits of love is with non-conventional angles. Flexcam makes this super easy because the phone can act as a camera and tripod all in one. This allows us to try some really cool perspectives. We had a lot of fun playing with the show palm feature. It just could not be easier to get a selfie with this tool. Finally, you want to tailor your portraits to your subject's specific kind of love. Portrait mode gives you several flattering filters, but you can get even more control with pro mode, including the power to change shutter speed, ISO, even white balance. It just really allows you to dial in the details that you want to see, which is super clutch when it comes to shooting portraits. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed learning some creative ways to capture love in your portraits. Let's take a look at the final shots.